Hello and welcome to the H.O. Clemens Arena. I'm Tyrese Blue, taking over the play by Pelly Benitez's duties for Tim Stubbs, who is right here with me. No, no, he's not, he's not, you know. What's up, man? He's just a little bit under the weather, so he wants to rest himself. A lot. Well, my voice is a lot of bit under the weather, but... I mean, you're uh, here. I'm, I'm here and helping in a different capacity with the audio and video. Hey, not like we don't need it as uh, the Golden Lions take on Texas Southern. We got Texas Southern. A four game showdown for streak here. Yeah, four-game losing streak. They're looking to snap, and it's a showdown for second place. You know, they were in a showdown earlier in the season for first place yeah. against Jackson State, and they came out on top in that game Just a couple of Monday nights ago, and all of a sudden. It's a four-game skid here. Uh, it's, they're due for a win tonight. But yeah. these two teams hooked up in a thriller. Came down to a big five-point sequence by McKnight at the end of the game to win that at Texas Southern in a wild finish. So we'll see what we're in store for tonight. McKnight looks to get going after a four-point game last time around on Saturday. Down low to Steen with the baby hook just off the mark way off the mark as that one finds air and Texas Southern gets their first possession after the opening set. Here comes the Southern squad being led by number three, Dom, uh, Dom, Demontre Jefferson. Yeah, he likes to mix it up. He talks a lot. You'll see him. He's a pretty, uh, plays with a lot of flair, gets under the skin of the opposing team. You'll see. All right, number one now with the drop step, the hop step. Block. It's blocked, but is able to follow it up and put it in. That's Dante Clark, 6'4 guard out of Charlotte, North Carolina. Yeah, Steen got the block, but they played through it. Very well so. Now UAPB looking for their first point of the game. McKnight trying to get himself going. Double jump down low. Kicks it out to Harper. And they're going to reset. Ten seconds to shoot. McKnight shoots one. It's going to go long. Steen not able to follow up. Caught by Richardson. And he's going to be caught for a travel as he hit the ground on the way down uh, from getting a very sky-high rebound. The Golden Lions stay scoreless as we open this game up. Just under a minute and a half gone in this first half of play. As Texas Southern has taken the early lead 2-0. Down low with the drop step, couldn't find any space. They're just working the ball around. Right wing knocked down by DeMontre Jefferson. The man with the flair. He's Got that one all there. Nice work by him and missed opportunity there by Charles Jackson as that ball comes off the hands of Montavious McKnight and he is having an off couple of games. And it seems like they're having a hard time getting going, the Lions. It's like the Southern looking to take advantage. Looks for the shot there. A couple two-man game up top. Derek Bruce getting it to Demontre Jefferson, who kicks it to Clark. Now look at the spin move from Jefferson, but a uh, little too much flair on that one as he spun into a long pass to the corner. A little bit too tall for number 24. That's Aaron Campbell. Starting off with four guards here, playing small ball is Texan Southern. Jackson now trying to break down Bruce. He's working his way to the left. Harper kind of surprised by that pass up top. He's going to hand it back to Jack, 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 yeah, Jackson. <laughs> Excuse me for that one, but another hiccup, if you will, by the Golden Lions as they have not been able to get a clear shot on goal. Last two turnovers, the last two possessions ending in turnovers. You wonder how that's going to work out as this game progresses. Now, Nice stutter step move by Campbell. Gets it all the way across to Clark, who makes a strong move, and he's going to get the late whistle. And two shots at the basket, 5-0 to zero here, just under, or just over the three-minute mark in the first half. And the Golden Lions have not been able to get anything going. As Dante Clark, the 6'4 guard, graduating senior, or graduate student, Charlotte, North Carolina, knocks down the first of two. And increases their lead to six. Oh, Jim 
It's going to stay that way as he misses the second shot. And now, Dante McDonald, uh, excuse me, Montavious McKnight hands it off to Charles Jackson. Trey Harper down low to McKnight, who's trying to get himself going down low, but it's stuffed at the basket by Salmon. And again, the Lions stay scoreless as they look to set up Clark up top. Passes it off to Bruce, who hands it to the corner. Long pass back to Bruce up top. Back to Bruce again. Going to swing it around. That one falls for Montre Jefferson. And Coach, Coach Ivory wants a bit of a timeout. Yeah, this, this is a really a foreign start. Not the start you want. Yeah, it's not a great start at all. Three of the last four possessions for the Golden Lions ending in the turnover. And that's not what you want when you're battling for a second place position. Almost to a double digit lead. Nine to zero is the score at 16-29 left in the first half. Not that far removed from a media timeout. Enough. It depends. Sometimes they will, on the first one, if there's a timeout before the first media timeout, I don't know. We'll just have to wait and see. We'll have to wait and see. If we have to go a little bit longer, we just apologize in advance to our production team in the radio studio. But right now we're about to get back underway. It's Coach Ivory. Trying to get the squad back together and back working like the old machine. They started the season with Hardy and Posey's checking in for McKnight. Nice pass there to Banyard, but he was not able to finish. Back to Banyard. He's going to try once more. That time he knocks it down, and that's the first score. Oh, actually, Trey, uh, Trey Harper is the first score, and what a game he had last time around he on Saturday. Quick off the floor, man. He got up and got down real fast. He is so quick indeed. Use that quickness to get a buzzer beater to get us to overtime on Saturday. Unfortunately, we weren't able to pick up the win in that game. Now here comes Bruce as they have eight to shoot. Not a lot of time, five now. No one guarding, but the block. Oh, he's going to call a foul on the three-point shot on Posey. Wasn't a lot of contact. It wasn't. Well, he was off balance as he shot it, and it was the way he landed that he, he sold it on the land, but with him being off balance. I don't know if this is the same as a, you can't be in the space of a landing jumper or something like that, but either way, though, knocking, out, knocking down the first shot. Didn't really is. like that. I thought he bailed him out there. Aaron Campbell, 6'1 freshman, as he knocks down the second. Coming out of the Bahamas, St. Uh, John's College Prep. And all three are money for Campbell. Hardy now, as he works his way across the half court line, looking for the inside ball. There's Banyard, but he's going to be caught with the travel. All right, excuse me, that was Harper who was caught for the travel there. He was looking for something to lean on, and they kind of pulled the chair out from under him. 12 to 2, your score, 15 30. Left in the first half. Campbell gets it to Jefferson. Now to Clark. Back up top to Campbell, drive and kick. Back to Clark. Down low, that time didn't work out. Intended person to receive Marquis Salmon, but he just lost control of it on the baseline. And now uh, one of those times where you need your team to execute. As Hardy looks to break down Jefferson, and he does blow by him. Pulls up with the jumper, but off the left rim and out. There's a lid on the basket, and it has the Golden Lions name on it as Bruce looks to drive and dump. A hard foul coming in from 
Harper as he is visibly uh, frustrated. But it prevented the dunk and forced Marquis Salmon to shoot from the line. Salmon, six foot eight, tallest man on the floor right now. Besides Bandard, as he misses the first off the left rim. Graduate student coming in from Lancaster, California, transferring from w uh, Wagner University. And he looks to knock down the second, but he can't. And they've been stuck at 12 for a while. A lot of this is an opportunity to get within double digits. As a close call there for Posey as the opposing team is looking for a travel. Posey cannot handle the ball now. And the Lions are all over the place. Jump ball, and it's going to go the opposite direction. Texas Southern, I wouldn't say it's dominating. It's more like the Lions are beating themselves. Davion Sprinkle now checking in for Posey after that one as he lost control of the ball, leading to the turnover. Now here comes Campbell up top. Passes off the Clark. Clark almost loses his handle on it. And a long pass comes in to Jefferson. Oh, my. There's a, there's a lot of just strange play going here. Bruce going to try to break down Hardy. That's not an easy thing to do. He kicks it off the Clark. Now back to Bruce. Fakes the shot. Looks to drive. Shoots from three. That one goes. And that's Bannard right in his face. And he was not able to interrupt that shot. 15 to 2 here. Uh, just passing the 14 minute mark. Hardy now up top to Harper. Off back iron. They just cannot get anything to drop. Bruce loses possession. Harper to Hardy. Hardy now to Banyard. Can't get that one to drop. Wow. I mean, seriously, and now Devontae Jefferson taking the long three and Wow, Dante Clark jumping over Sprinkle to make that putback 17-2. Kick out to Hardy, back down to low to Banyard. Hardy now finding the skip pass to Sprinkle, now to Harper. Over the top. And almost in our laps as a bad pass. And this is a totally different team that, than the team that went to Southern. Well, he's, he's got McKnight on the bench. He's trying to shake things up a little bit, trying something different. But it's worked out in the past. It's not, it's not happening right now. They're going to have to just. They're going to have to try something. A lot of games left. Can't panic. left in the first half and it's not looking good right now as Texas Southern gets possession and De Demonte Jefferson excuse me Demontre Jefferson looks to lead the Texas Southern to try to increase this lead further here comes Campbell kicks it out to Clark Clark now all the way over to Jefferson the free throw line, Campbell gets it to Salmon, but he can't do anything with it. Kicked out the Clark, five to shoot. Jab, step, pull up, off front rim. Nice hop by Bannard to retrieve that rebound. And now a chance for Hardy. As he kicks it over to Sprinkle, and Trey Harper is now gonna try something. 
Jackson can't get the end one, but he gets to the line, and that's one of the ways you can get out of a shooting slump is get yourself to the free throw line. As Charles Jackson, I get my game notes out here. Has been kind of off and on from the line, but he knocks that one down. Over the games I've seen, Jackson, known as the toughest man on the team, especially in my eyes, gives off a Ron Artest kind of vibe and a good touch from three as he knocks down both and gets us going again. Metal World Peace. We're talking the. Well, the world piece that did a lot of non-peaceful things. Here goes the steal from Hardy, but he's not able to control it. And Bruce can't handle it on the spin. Hardy now has a chance to get us going. Stuffed with goaltending. Is the call. Hardy's going to be credited with a shot, but Sprinkle was right there to corral that miss. Yeah, either way, it was going to be a bucket. No matter what. And so now we can get going here. 4-0 run. Yeah, take it. This is, you know, better than being down by 15 like we were earlier, 17 to 6. Nine-point advantage for the Texas Southern Tigers. Clark, oh, I'm sorry, Bruce looking down low, couldn't find anything. Demontre Jefferson finds Clark, who finds hey. down low, checking in for the first time. Oh, he was stuffed. And welcome to the game, brother. Kevin Granger, Jr. Getting stuffed on that play there. Had a good look, but just defense from Banyard. Banyard now, speaking of, going to go for the baby hook, and here we go. Travis Banyard with the baby hook down low off the feed from Hardy. This is the kind of momentum we need. Campbell gets it to Bruce, who fakes the shot, gets sprinkled in the air, drives, kicks to Montre Dresserson, who just shows off some nifty moves there. And there's that flair you were talking about, Tim, as he kind of dribble drove on two players. Well, the thing, he'll let you, he'll let you hear about it, too. Yeah, he's, and that's from, probably not fun to be a part Milwaukee, of. Milwaukee, Wisconsin, I believe. Jefferson, and he is, and there's three players here tonight from Milwaukee. Two for UAPB and Jefferson for Texas Southern. You bet they played together at one point or another when they were younger. Media timeout coming up. 19 to 8, 9 point advantage for Texas Southern. We have 41 left in the first half. We'll be right back. at the HOC, HO Clemens Arena as the Gold Lions looking to battle back on a nine point deficit here. 19 to eight, Texas Southern, as Hardy was looking for <laughs> a shot, but the ball was still underneath him as he went up. So no travel called either way though. He was not able to make anything out of it as Jefferson comes up with a rebound and looks to set up Texas Southern. Montre Jefferson now with the skip pass to Clark. Nice screen there from Jefferson as the open three is taken. Uncounted bounce for Bruce in the corner. And now Jackson looking to break someone down. Nice pass, but Banyard just barely able to hold on to it. Sprinkle now. 
Going to try to direct traffic. Works his way to his left. And a foul called. Trayvon Harper called for the, the elbow. It wasn't the elbow. It's more like a shield play. Either way, he pushed him off. And now the ball flips possession. Montreux Jefferson gets it out to Bruce. The Clark now up top, still working their way, just probing. Ranger sets the screen. Clark, I mean Jefferson. Finds number 11, whose name I will find in a moment. Now Dante Clark up top. Bruce looks for Clark again with the pump shot, not able to hit it. Rebounded by Brian Carey. Texas Southern checking in the game not too long ago. Dante Clark finds the corner for Jefferson in a push off, they say, against Granger Jr. Oh, excuse me. Foul was on Granger Jr. The foul was against Charles Jackson. McKnight uh, back in after a bit of a break. Yeah, pretty long sit there. Chance to cool off, you know, if it's not getting any stuff, fall, fall down, you may get frustrated. Good job by Coach Harvey to get him to slow down a bit. Nice contested jumper from Bruce. Recorraled by McKnight, and he's looking for Jackson. Back to McKnight. McKnight not afraid to take a jumper. Night now, going to drive, kick. Christian Robinson from mid-range can't knock it down. Pull out by Tamontre Jefferson. Jefferson looking to break down McKnight, and he's a great defensive player, is McKnight. Christian Robinson now against Bruce. Back to, Cross, back to Jefferson. Bruce now. Thought about the drive, started differently. Carey, back to Bruce. Got Robinson in the air. Takes that out to Jefferson. Jefferson going to drive, pull up from mid-range, knock it down. Jefferson's been a bit of a heat magnet now. Starting to heat up a bit. That's going to prove to cause some problems for the, for the Golden Lions if they don't keep him in check. Knight now gets a screen from Bannard. Pick and roll time. Nice hockey pass down low, but it's going to be stuffed in the end by Marquis Salmon. Smashed against the backboard there. And now Bruce looking to take advantage. And so they're going to reset up top with Carey. Swing all the way around to Clark. And charge call. Beautiful work by Charles Jackson. Putting his body on the line for the cause. And he will go to immediate timeout. 7.48 to go in the first half. Still a lot of work to do for the Golden Lions. 21 to 8. to the H.O. Clemens Arena as the Golden Lions falling further and further away. Eight points in the first half. And it's slow going for the Golden Lions right now. 21 to 8 is the score. Texas Southern with the advantage. McKnight looking for the hockey pass to the low block. Banyard's there. Nice work there getting it off the glass. Trey Banyard. Nice. Get a good look there. High percentage. Terrence Banyard, excuse me. As Dante Clark tries to set things up. 
And Texas Southern, Jefferson on the ball now. Makes the drive and kicks it to Bruce. Bruce now trying to break down McKnight. Can't seem to do it. Finds the inside pass there for Marquis Salmon, and that one's going to go in. And he had a host of lines around him, but still stayed concentrated. And now Montavious McKnight looking for some room. Spin around jumper in the face of Campbell is Montavious McKnight, and he needed that one to get himself going. And um, Montre Jefferson kicks it to the left side. Aaron Campbell's there. Down low to Jefferson. And he's now giving up a lot of sides down there. Kicks it all the way out. Bruce knocks down the contested three-point shot. Aaron Bruce is something else from deep, and he's not afraid to take that shot. 12 to 26. Lions with the former in a moving screen coming in from Tra uh, Terrence Banyard. Me. It was a blocking foul, a oh, pushing foul. One of the one of the two things you can't do on defense. As he tried to fight through the screen. 26 to 12 here, and we are at six minutes, 19 seconds away from halftime. As the Golden Line looks to find something here, Banyard with the hop step nice. and a nice tall shot that falls Boy. directly into the net. Beautiful work by Terrence Banyard. He's been working. Six points for him. The smooch <laughs> high off the glass with the kiss there. Beautiful work by him. And now Texas Southern looks to work this zone around. Carey kicks it out to Jefferson and gets his man in the air. But not a lot of space around for Salmon as he is stuffed by a multitude a double of, stuff. of manual hands there. <laughs> oh my, Tolliver, sniper in the building as he knocks that one down from distance. That's what they got. You gotta get the rifleman locked and loaded. Yeah. And get back in it real quick. Uh, looks to respond. That's gonna be stuffed by McKnight. Saved right into the arms of Campbell. No call. Oh, late call there. As in my eyes and also the eyes of Coach Ivory, he went straight up in the air. That should be all legal. As uh, Aaron Campbell ran directly into him and didn't develop his own. Push off there. But knocks down the first two. What a sequence. That was a great sequence there. Almost had that one going. Hardy checking in for Robinson. And yeah. how deep was that three by Tolliver? Tolliver, Shot man. it from the SWAC logo on the floor. I mean, in the Harlem Globe Charter ball as Campbell knocks down that one, that would be a four-point shot. And now, we're on the way again. 5-13 till the halftime. Lions trailing by nine. McKnight trying to work down Clark. Passed off to Hardy. It's a screen from Banyard. Hand off to Jackson. Jackson is one of the three-point shooters you want to look for as he looks to drive. Nothing there. Kicked out. Open shot. Can't knock it down is Hardy. All right, not really a shooter from distance, but he'll take it when it's open, and he was wide open on that one. That's a good look. Just got to knock it down, but they played better. But first seven, eight minutes of the game dug themselves at 17 to two hole, but since then have settled down. 11 point game. You cut this down to about five or six at halftime, you'd be feeling real good. Indeed. And Johnson gets his man in the air again. McKnight, uh, I don't know how he keeps doing it, but every time Johnson touches the ball, he gets someone flying towards him and he just takes advantage of it. As the inside pass stolen by Salmon. And Brian Carey going to carry this down. Got to telegraph that one a little bit. And hop step through. Carey gets it around the man. He got around. I believe that was Banyard on that one. And that's a tough, tough shot. 32 to 17, Texas Southern. Oh, nice crossover by Jackson. The floater front rimmed. Visibly frustrated with that one. And, and cut it down to nine with the lead back to 15. 
Tillman, a spurt. Tillman looking to check in for the Golden Lions. Jefferson knocks it down and as he flashes the Texas Southern on his shirt, coming back the other end. Uh, he's gonna, he's feeling it right now and feeling himself, but he's hot. And no we're going to take a hot little break as the media timeout is called. 17 to 35, 17 points to the advantage of, of the Texas 7. We'll be right back. to the HOC, Tyree Spoon sitting along Tim Stokes who just provided a bit of a, <laughs> as we get a little bit of smack talking to us by the opposing broadcast team, but by getting in front of a little bit of replay assistance as it was a deep three coming in from Demetrion Johnson, or, or Dem Demontre Johnson, excuse me, and then under the basket as he was trying to box in that box out, Foul was called against Bannard. And yeah, so he's going to sit down. Yeah, they both kind of got tangled up fighting for position on that rebound. But one and one opportunity squandered by Marquis Salmon as he was the one taking the shot. Jackson now on the left wing looking for some space down low. Tillman up top. Swings it all the way to Tolliver. Tolliver down low. Kick back out to Tillman. Martavius McKnight backing down the smaller carry, and he knocks down the end one from at least, I say, 15 feet away from the basket. Well, you got to take advantage of that mismatch. Yeah, yeah Ryan Carey standing at 5'10". Yeah, you got a 6'2 guard against a 5'10 guard. I mean, 6'3". Yeah, you can back him down and do what you, got, do what you want to him. Yeah, he's going to take a step out the game, and we're going to have two shots. What? In, or one, one shot didn't come in. You make, did he make the first one? He made the first one. Oh, he made the jumper, so it's no a jumper. It was one shot. Excuse me. Man, I'm all over the place right now, but he knocks it down with a lot more calmness and efficiency than I have right now. As 15 points now, they cut the lead down to. Montre Jefferson directing traffic with the pass down low, and he, held, he got him with the. Was it a reach around? I guess you could call it. As he pushed off, trying to drive the baseline. The offensive foul there on Aaron Campbell. That's going to be his second foul of the game. It's Oliver going to swing it off to Jackson. Jackson still looking. That's Tillman who swings it back to Tolliver. To Tillman gives it to McKnight. Tim to shoot. Not a lot of time to work with. McKnight with space, and he knocks it down, and this is the McKnight we're, used to, we're very used to seeing. The marvelous one pulling off some marvelous mid-range work. As the Golden Lions starting to slowly build momentum. Dante Clark on the right wing, working his way back center. Back to pass to Demontre Jefferson with the overhand pass. Going to become all the way back. It was a nice pass there. I don't even, I'm not even sure how he saw that one. At Campbell, one second to shoot, can't knock it down. Tolliver corralling the rebound, and here's what we needed. They're playing McKnight very close. But Tolliver, you got to play closer. Three-point shot from distance. There's a sniper in the building, Mr. Sim. Yeah, we're going to need more of it. 
I like it. As they're starting to find their range. Bruce now being harassed by Banyard and McKnight. Looked like he got the steal, but it was the foot that touched the ball. Kickball violation. 14 seconds on the shot clock. We're under the two, the 130 mark, and there's a 10-point ball game. They're faced with 25 to 35 for Texas Southern. McKnight, oh, almost picked up that pass. That would have been a huge steal. But now Demontre Jefferson. Gets off to Clark, Clark to Bruce. Bruce now looking for the corner, can't find it now. Trade it off to Tolliver, gets by him. Not a lot of space, air ball there. Banyard corralling the rebound. Here comes the marvelous one, Montavious McKnight, and he's starting to heat up. Someone left the chicken in the microwave because McKnight is about to start cooking. As Tillman got the screen, but McKnight got picked by DeMontre, and he's looking for the pass, but Bruce sided against it. Eric Bruce now has 45 and counting on the clock. Bruce cutting inside. Looks for the up and under, not there. Carey, who checked back in not too long ago, is going to get picked by Tolliver. Long ball for Banger! Two hands, straight down, jam by Terrence Banyard. The elevation and then the jam. Straight flexing right there, baby. I mean, what better way to gain momentum than a two-handed jammer from the 6'8"? And yeah, we're down to eight points here. And nice trip there from Tolliver. As Tolliver really picking up his defensive work. Seven, less than eight to go before we catch a break. But now the Golden Lions starting to build a little momentum. Demetrion driving the lane and not able to find anyone. Less than four, 3.9 to go before half, 27 to 35. And then enough time for maybe one shot. McKnight able to get the ball behind the back move. Long distance, oh, almost got it, but I'm looking for the foul. Either way, as the Instagram, we're gonna hit the break. For, for, for halftime here, see you in 15 minutes, 35 to 27. Wow. Texas Southern. We'll be right back. You feel it from the moment you enter our campus. It's a legacy of greatness. We are the Golden Lion family, committed to innovation and truth. We all come from different places, but now call the Pride Lands home. Whether it's the sciences, arts, or business, we're shaping the minds that one day will reshape the world. The University of Arkansas at Pine Bluff. Become a part of the pride. Well, welcome back here inside of H.O. Clemens Arena. As you can hear my voice, I apologize under the weather and my play-by-play -play fill in. Has yet to get back in his seat, so I'll do my best until he gets here. Tim Stubbs here, glad to be with you. 35-27 our score. Eight point lead for Texas Southern as we begin the second half of play. And Texas Southern will inbound the basketball after a turnover by the Golden Lions to start the second half. That's how we begin. Texas Southern jumped out to a 17-2 lead. And the Golden Lions cut it down to where it is now. Eight point game. And a steal by the Gold Lions. McKnight left side missing. A flashing in the lane. Harper there right through his hands. It was thrown behind him a bit. So Texas Southern will get it back. Jefferson to spin and a dish. Nicely done. He's, he's had a big time game. Diamond gets the bucket. Jefferson's the high scorer in the game with 15 points, 37 to 27. And Steen's jumper no good, but there to stick it up and in is Christian Roberts. And Sorry, Tim, I was caught up at the door. You all right? I'm all right, I had to run a little bit, but I'm all right. <laughs> get your breath, get your breath. 37-29, our score eight-point lead here. Trying to 
Working around the perimeter, Jefferson now. Off the shake. Pass last second, firing for three. It's going to be short. Got a foul on the rebound. Going to go against Steen, I believe. 18 minutes, 10 seconds to play early. Here in the second half, got a 10 point or eight point game, rather. Right, everything timed out. I had everything timed out and they had, they had me caught up at the door. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna try to All right. get back into it. You good? Yeah, I'm good. All right, I'm gonna hand it back off to <laughs> Tyrese as, Ooh, ladies and gentlemen. As Jefferson passes it off to Clark. <laughs> Aaron Campbell up top now in possession. Finishing off against McKnight. And McKnight nice. almost intercepts the pass, but it's going to end up in the hands of Marquis Salmon. He's going to knock it down. Just as Trent Seen ends up tripping up on the way back from a defense. Martavius McKnight dumps it down to Steen. And this time, cannot knock it down. But Banyard able to come up with the rebound, baby hook. Well defended by Salmon. And Jefferson ends up getting the clear out, and here we go. Jefferson to Clark. Clark can't get there in time as great defense coming in from Trent Steen. Steen now in possession, spin step off the backboard, a little too strong. And Coach Kilber didn't like that one as Jefferson knocks down the Nice layup there. Yeah, boy, he's 17 points. He's playing one of his best games of the season. Yeah, he's really putting in work now. And you see Harper on the bench, or coming off the bench, as Coach Kilbert did not like that spin step attempt from Steen. Banyard comes up to Tolliver, out top. Oh, looks for the three, not able to find it. Work by Terrence Banyard, and how big of a spark plug has he been? My goodness, don't hurt him, Banyard. Nice jam by him, and now we're at 10 points the difference to 41 to 31, just above the 16 minute mark. Bruce trying to find space around Jackson, now gives it to Jefferson, dumps it off. Deep three in the corner, and not able to knock it down is Clark. Fancy little pass there to McKnight. Back to Tolliver, who could have shot it from there, but decides against it. Steen. To McKnight on the left side of the central. He's getting double. He works his way around. High ball for Steen. Knocks it in. High percentage. And that's how you come back from a 15-point deficit. As Demontre Jefferson looks to lead them back. Jefferson now with 17 points. Tries to find a high ball to Bruce, but McKnight is going to take it himself with a little bit of a finger roll here, and that cuts the lead down. Defense. Six. Long distance three. Not able to squelch the momentum. McKnight again. Oh, tries to find Steen, but Steen wasn't paying attention. Jefferson with the reverse layup. And let McKnight know what he just did to him. Lead back up to eight. That's Tolliver. Finds a screen. Finds Jackson on the wing. Jackson looking inside. Finds McKnight. At the free throw line, top of the key, knocks it in. As smooth as you expect from the marvelous one, Montavious McKnight. Uh, this game's getting saucy. It's getting real saucy out here, Mr. Tim Stubbs. As this, it might have too much subs, if you know what I'm talking about. As Clark now on the wing, tries to find the cross-court pass to Campbell. Campbell driving against Banyard. Going to kick it back up to Clark. Fake pass there. Puts out McKnight. But great defense met by even better offense there. Dante Clark doing his thing down low in the baseline. Lead back up to eight. 45 to 37. Awaiting a dead ball for the media timeout. Drives the lane. Oliver. Here's Steen. Spin step. 
pulls up, fadeaway jumper, knocks it down from close to the basket within five feet. Got a nice flow to it. Beautiful flow in this game now as the scoring is starting to open up. Jackson against Bruce. Spins away, finds Jefferson, who swings it back around to Campbell. Back to Jefferson, back to Bruce. It's cross court now, finds Jefferson, who tries to push off. Oh, that one's definitely going to be a charge against Jefferson as he caught him on the way through. And the Golden Lion faithful really letting Jefferson have it now. As the media timeout is called, we'll be right back here 45-39 at the 13-minute mark. Or 13-30. We'll be right back. HOC, the HO Clemens Arena, and we got a saucy one here right now. 45 to 39. Hot sauce. Hot sauce indeed. Six point advantage for the Tigers of Texas Southern. Golden Lions now slowly and surely making their way back. As Hardy inbounds it to Jackson, and here we go. Jackson now trying to work his way around Bruce. Gets it to Tolliver, who can shoot it from anywhere, but swings it back around, this time McKnight. McKnight, thick and pass, cross court to Hardy. That one, low block, beautiful move by Hardy, and that cuts it to four. Four points now, and it's almost a matter of time as the Golden Lions have surged their way back. Clark down low, gets hacked by Harper, and he's gonna go to the line for two. Doing what they can to spot some momentum. They're on a quite a run right now. And as originally at the beginning of this game, if not, don't forget, they were trailing this game 2 to 17. And it was not looking good. As we're getting stats here as Clark makes the first one. Marquis well, Salmon doing well for himself with six on the board. And Clark. Uh, one for two, now he's two for four as he misses the second attempt. Lead now five after the missed free throw. McKnight looking inside, finds Steen, or finds Harper, excuse me. As he backs him down, stripped by Clark. On the pull up, he was stripped. Bruce now trying to go underneath, finds Granger Jr. stomped away. And Jefferson's going to hold this down. They have 20 seconds to work with. Jefferson trying to break down Tolliver. And that's going to be a foul on, it looks like, he said Jackson, he was coming in to help. And Coach Kilbert may be thinking of a change. Jackson's coming out. Terrence Banyard coming in. And we saw a bit of his bunnies. A little while ago with a beautiful putback jam that switched the momentum of this game. High, long pass, and it's going to be set up by Clark. They pass it off to Demontre Jefferson, and we're getting ready to go. They have just over 10 to shoot. Not a lot of time to work with. Under 10 now. Jefferson tries to find Bruce on the free throw. A free point line. Can't knock it down. Jefferson for three, and he's been dynamite, but not this time. 
Beautiful work there by DeMontre. But DeMontre doesn't even find the look, but he can't knock it down. Martavius McKnight looking to cut the lead down even further. McKnight passes off to Hardy. Down low to Banyard. David Granger Jr. posting him up. Hardy with the beautiful pass. No foul there, but Harper not deterred. Playing through contact, cuts the lead down to just three. What a game. It's a beautiful game that we call basketball here. And great we're witnessing a great comeback right now. As Jefferson now swings it around to Campbell, back to Jefferson. Looks down low, swings out to Clark, right side. Back to Jefferson, swings back around. Bruce now trying to find the lane, can't find it. And McKnight. I believe be got up. the loose ball. Yeah. He's getting the loose ball, but Bruce, as he was falling Bruce. over, fell over him. And there's immediate timeout, so we'll take a little bit of a break. 46-43, Texas Southern. Lions working their way back. this entirety 46 43 your score 11 15 to go in the game and there's another tight one here at hoc Hardy. Well, they call it a double technical and it ended up being the fourth personal on trey harper that's big that's a huge one and man harper needs to take a calm down seat nice work by steam down low as we get coming off the break they're balling now there really are Momentum has switched, and the smile of Montre Jefferson has faded slightly as Campbell now swings it back to Montre Jefferson driving with the left side, tried to step back, wasn't there. A reset. Granger with the screen. Nice find there by Jefferson as he finds Clark down low. I mean, say what you will about the man, he can ball. And Banyard's just going to take a step forward and take the shot, and that's just so easy. And you don't want to do that with Banyard. He's a very prolific mid-range shooter. One point to the good is the Texas Southern Tigers as they're working. Finds Clark, who finds Granger, works his way through. Back to Campbell. Nothing there. Jefferson from deep. That time he knocks it down. Four-point advantage. You see hot sauce coming back here on the other end. Yeah. Opening up his chest like Superman to show the Texas Southern on the front. He's yeah, it's, going to it's get the, him in trouble. It is. These days. Hardy tried to fire back. Not there. Just a little bit too strong. And now <laughs> here comes Jefferson. He just loves talking trash to the crowd. And to write big checks for the cash though. 
Good, good take there by that's Clark, who's going to go to the line. Two for four on the day. That's 50% for your math majors out there. As he has been a big part of this lead of theirs. He's cast 10 right now. To increase the lead to five. Takes a shot. Off back iron and out. Posey going to come in for McKnight. McKnight going to take a little bit of a break until winning time probably because this is the form we like to see McKnight at. Clark setting up again. That time front iron. No change in the score. 51 to 47 now. Posey working his way to his right, being harassed by Campbell. And this is to Banner. Banner looking for the three-pointer of long two. Posey now trying to distribute. Tolliver finds Steen at the elbow. Pulls up for the jumper. A little too strong there. That's the shot he likes Steen taking. Now yeah, Jefferson going to take a definitely in his range. Leisurely stroll up the court. No rush right now. As they have the lead by four. Jefferson gets it out to Kemp. Bruce, excuse me. Bruce now looks for the jumper, changes his mind back to Jefferson. Gets a screen from Campbell, kicks it in. Cross court pass for Bruce, stuffed by Banyard. And that's going to be a shot clock violation there. Great defense all around by everyone on ball and off ball as there was no real opportunity to shoot. However, time was taken off the clock. It's still a very close game with four points. So don't count out the Lions just yet as Posey with the dribble handoff to Harper who almost gets the ball away but Steam able to corral it. 12 to shoot. Harper trying to work his way around. Fine Steam this time. He's going to back down. Baby hook. Bang run! Animation and jam on a putback dunk. He's straight flexing tonight, I told you. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> I lost my mind just now. Ooh, Jefferson hey. trying to fire back. Bruce now gives it to Jefferson. Posey not leaving the ground this time. I'm not sure what just happened as the ball just kind of flew out of his hands as he was probably looking for a shooting foul, but nothing doing there. And now the crowd is starting to get more into it. You can hear a pin dropping here earlier in the first half, but now it's getting a little bit of a little bit of ruckus about it. Hardy now trying to set up. Dribble handoff to Steen. He's going to dribble it back up top. Hardy down low, Banyard. Nice shot with one second remaining on the clock. There was not a lot of time to work. Got a decent look. Not the best possession you want to see from the Golden Lions as they have the chance to tie. Now Clark is going to dump it down low for Jefferson, who lacks a size advantage. Oh, nice move there by Campbell, faking the pass inside, trying to go baseline, but there's so much defense around him. And now Tolliver to Posey. Posey back to... Oliver Steen could not handle it, and that's a missed opportunity if I've ever seen one. And Jefferson now going to try to slow things down. He is visibly frustrated, and they're going to take a timeout. And, man, there's a bit of a cluster that time. We're going to go ahead and take a little bit of a break here with 6 minutes 30 to go. 51 to 49, two points advantage for Texas Southern.
little saucy. Someone put a little more habanero in the sauce than the recipe called for as 49-51, 15-point comeback incoming as Texas Southern with the lead. The two-point advantage looking to increase it in possession of the ball. Jefferson now as they have 15 to shoot, carry. Finding Bruce on the inside who loses possession of the ball. Being harassed by Sprinkle. Tillman versus Jefferson, but Jefferson picking up the foul. And Tillman, the perpetrator. Yeah, just five on the shot clock there, too. And I mean, you wonder how smart of a strategy that is when you, know, you could be taking the good shot. They've had a couple of good looks, opportunities, but Jefferson now, who's really getting it from his fans, all day, and but he knocks it down without a second thought about it. Already getting taken out for Sprinkle. Chabron Sprinkle from Whitehall High School, close near to where I work. And now, the Metreon Jefferson. Oh, something happened up top. Jefferson just going to ignore it and knock it down. I'm not entirely sure what's going on behind me, but we're going to focus on the game here. As Montavious McKnight looks to set things up here. Gets a screen from Tillman. Spin shot. Fouled. He's going to be fouled there. And he's going to go to the line. Number 15. Marquis Salmon, the perpetrator on that one, is going to be called on the ground. Tillman getting the inbound, going up against, going to hand it off to Tolliver. Screened by Till Tolliver. Tillman with the baby hook can't knock it down. That frame got him space, but he wasn't able to complete the play. Four points still to the good. This Texas Southern. They got a fight on their hands now, though. Big possession now. That's Jefferson. Ripson runs against McKnight. Hands it to Bruce. Bruce now. Down low for Salmon. He knocks that one down. Up to six is the lead. And it's starting to get a little bit heated now. As McKnight is trying to focus his team up. Sprinkle back to McKnight. Resetting the dribble. McKnight now going to try to rip his way around. Beautiful work, but a blocking foul. He thought he deserved the charge there, but McKnight's going to go to the line this time. Chance to knock this lead down a peg from the stripe. McKnight, 70-plus free throw shooter. And he needs both of these to make things a little bit easier for his squad. Defensively, they've been doing pretty well. It's just the lack of offensive execution, especially when they get turnovers. They have not been able to focus uh, to come through on the break. I'm Octavius McKnight focusing up. Takes a dribble, bends at the knees, knocks it down. Great work by him. Sprinkle going to take, take a check out. So is Tillman. In the backcourt, Jackson Harper, who has four fouls. He needs to be very careful. And Banyard, who's been on fire today. McKnight knocks down both. Four-point game. Just over five to play. You know what time it is. And it's winning time. It's That's around right. that time. We've been playing like it's winning time this whole time. And how many times can I use time in a sentence? Here we go. Clark <laughs> driving a little right hand. And a beautiful move there. He split the defense in half and was able to knock down that two-point layup. Inside pass for Harper. Hook shot. Nice. Beautiful work by Harper. How about, how about Trayvon Harper? Now? That is a very nice move. He is a good post player. He's a great all-around player. He can hit it from anywhere. His work coming from down low today. Bruce now. Finding Perry, who swings it around to Jefferson. Good closeout by Banyard. Didn't leave his feet that time. 
Carey now trying to work his way around. Can't find it. McKnight with the steal off an errant pass. Jackson can't hold on to it. McKnight's just going to reset. They need to slow down a bit. A little loose with the basketball now. McKnight hands it off to Jackson. He's going to call for a little bit of isolation for McKnight. Nice pass. Harper could not finish that one. And now we're moving. Still four points. They've been trying. To, there's been a wall at the four-point mark, and they have not been able to clear it. Carey swings it to Jefferson. Back to Clary. He's going to find his way inside with Clark. Clark with the spin step. Stuffed. It's going to go out of bounds, and it's going to stay with Texas Southern. Media timeout. timeout. Media timeout right now, 57 to 53. Lions oh so close with a need to fight forward. Here's the night. We'll be right back after this break. in the game, 53 to 57 to score. And Texas Southern maintaining possession after a big time block coming in from Banyard, I believe it was. Nine seconds to shoot here when the inbound commences. Here we go. Bruce looking for someone, finds Clark who steps back. Long two, not gonna help. Comes out front iron, McKnight with a great rebound. McKnight now going to fight his way forward. No call, but still the bucket flies in. McKnight with the power move down low, and we're within two now. It's only a matter of time. Jefferson searching. Finds Bruce. Campbell on the opposite end. Going to swing it back around to Jefferson. To Campbell. Tried to find the corner, didn't get it. Jefferson. Clark now with a strong move of his own. Tries to put back his own miss, but still, it's gonna be UAPB ball. So Oliver now gonna hand, get the handoff. Back to Jackson. Down low, here's Harper. Nice pass with Banyard! What can you say about Banyard, man? He bobbles the pass, but still has the wherewithal and concentration to knock in the, pat, the, the shot that ties the game. You play through contact. You play through mistakes. Got and to. Bruce to Campbell to Jefferson. The swing passes are still prominent. But the defense looks strong. Can't find his way inside. It's still going to stay with Dexter Southern. They don't have a lot of time to work with on the shot clock. Nine seconds. And they're still prolific from three. They have to get it past half court. Jefferson now, high ball, nice work by him. You cannot deny this guy can ball. Devontre Jefferson is something else as he has 26 points in the game. McKnight trying to find his way. Nice drive by McKnight. Finds the foul, can't find the bucket. That would kick him ahead, but McKnight has been dynamite from the line, so I'm not really worried about that. McKnight doing what he does best, creating shots. He's come alive in the second half at 13 points, six assists now, three of three from the foul line. I mean, you thought, you wondered, it, it couldn't last long, the slump he's been. The slump, the slump he's been in. Yeah, he, he's coming on. And now from the line, he's coming on as he makes the first one to tie the game. 
This is a big one, under two minutes left. Ends at the knees for the tie. And off back iron. That was the first miss from the line tonight for the Gold Lions. They're six of seven. See how good it is when you're good from the line. That one was a clutch one, though. And now they have to play some good defense. Campbell, nice dish for Clark. Bruce, wide open for three. Can't knock it down. And Banyard, gonna, or Tolliver, going to corral that one. And McKnight has a chance with under a minute 30. One minute to go, or oh, one point. A technical foul on Charles Jackson with 126 to go in the game and down by one. What I am speechless. I am speechless. I have no idea what he could have possibly done. Wow. That's his fourth personal foul. I mean, that is a huge call in this game. That is a huge call, and that's going to wow. give... Possibly. And, and look who it is on the line. I'm sure he didn't say nothing back. You know what I mean? Exactly. It was probably retaliation. Wow. Knocked down the it's first technical the free throw. Guy that gets caught. Definitely. Technical I mean, free throw comes goes down for Jefferson. Found that situation. 126 to go. One possession game. That's a game changing call right there. That's ridiculous. I couldn't agree with you more, Tim. Jefferson going to increase the lead to three. Not able to do it, but it will get possession. Well, and it's a guy that's been talking trash the whole game. So I'm sure it was warranted. They just need to stop the game if there's too much talking and tell both players to button it up. Or tease somebody up in that situation. To me, that's, that's just lack of professionalism by the official in my opinion. Well, now we got to play through it. McKnight got caught up in the moment. As Campbell hops around, he finds Hardy on the corner. McKnight now back with possession of the ball. 15 to shoot. Tolliver finds Harper. 10 to shoot. Got to find somewhere to go. Tolliver Fade away, too strong. That one comes out the rim, but there's a foul, yeah. and they're going to go to the line. Harper trying to put it back on the fadeaway oh. air ball there by Tolliver. Felt more, like a, more like a alley -oop. modified alley-oop on that play. He gets Harper to the line. These are two absolutely crucial free throws. Yes, and that one rolls around to think about it and then it falls in. That was a teaser. And the crowd silences for the second. That one not as dramatic, but still just as effective. 60-60 with 60 seconds to go. See what I did there? Anyway, Clark to Jefferson. Jefferson kicks it out to Bruce. Bruce driving the lane at the elbow, pulls up, can't find it. Clark's there. Her last shot. Tolliver picking up the rebound. Here comes Hardy for the lead. Got it! On the breakaway, Demontre Jefferson, though, not slowing down for a second. Less than 30 to go. Clark inside. No foul called. Oh, finds it. Ground, no shot there, but it's a one and one opportunity. Here we go again. I thought there should have been a travel before that, and the initial play there, but they didn't call it. It was a one and one play because the foul was on the ground, and the crowd now is going to be in Marquis Salmon's head as he steps up to the line to try to tie the game up. If he misses the first one, ball's live. And that one goes in now for the tie. One point between certain victory and a sure tie. Salmon knocks it off limb. And a foul called. Uh, he got him at the hold. On the box out. And you see Jefferson starting to roll up this crowd just a little bit more. 
And now Clark is going to step up to the line. This time is for the lead. Called McKnight with the hold there. It was a box out move. It was a clean box out move. Right, In my get, eyes, uh, as they're going to, they're going to review it. And as we wait on them to, to decide on this review, man, what a game. Gold Lions picking up a lead in the last minute and a half. And now it could be anyone's game. Foul called. Sixty-two to sixty-one. Two shots. And they call a uh, one and one. Excuse me for Travis for Dante Clark. Excuse me. Front rim. Rebounded. Clark to drive. Kicks it out to Bruce Jefferson. Finds Campbell. Jefferson can't hold on to a turnover. Golden Lions basketball. As he tried to get the kick out from Clark, he could not hang on to the ball. 15 seconds left in the game. That was Jefferson who's been the topic of discussion. Couldn't handle the pass. Dove for it, out of bounds. So UAPB will get it back here up by one with 15 seconds to go. Man, oh man, no one is on their seat here at the HOC. And it's starting to rock and rumble. As another victory could be at hand, but they have to still play smart. There's a lot of pressure in this one possession. No shot clock coming into this possession right here at the timeout. The 30-second 30, 30 timeout is over. What has Coach Ivory thought of to try to seal this game out? As everyone's trying to make sure they hold their emotions in as we don't want any sort of rampant technical to be a killer in this game. One possession game, one point. This possession, this possession is pretty much for the game. 15 seconds on the clock. It went down to the final second in Houston. It's going to be the same way tonight. Time bluff. That's work. McKnight on the ball. Gets the intentional foul, and he's going to go to the line for one and one. And if McKnight knocks these both down, you got to like our chances. It's still a one possession game. Needs to knock these down. There's a crowd starting to silence. McKnight. As the crowd silences, he focuses. Knox did not knock that one down. And now long play. Beautiful work by Tolliver to stop the momentum. Man, free throw went in and out. It, was the, it, was, it could not have been closer. Nine seconds as Tolliver deflected a pass out of bounds to slow down the momentum and stop the fast break play from stealing the game away. We have a timeout by Mike Davis. Nine seconds. Does every game I have to call be like this? Do they all have to be like this? Because this is bad for my heart, honestly. What? About every home game has been like this. Well, seriously, though, I don't know how much I'm going to make in this business if I keep stressing like this. But one second, or one point, excuse me, separating victory from defeat as 62, 61 to score. 15 points was the comeback. Remember at the beginning of this game, we were trailing 17 to two. And it took all the way up till five minutes to the end of the first half for us to get going. And boy, did we get going to be in this situation. And it's a steal or a really good pass that can change the tide of what is by far a really good ball game, if not one of the best that any of us here have ever seen. As play starts to resume here, we are 
are so close to the final whistle. Here we go. Nine seconds. Carey, good to inbound the ball. Brian Carey. Still on the one and one. Next foul will put him on the double bonus. So. That's not something you want, so. Good screen there. Eight, seven, six. You gotta get moving if you're Jefferson. Kicks it out. Long three, can't knock it down. Rebound. McKnight, that seals it. Game over. Montavious McKnight with the game winning rebound. 62, 61, your final score. As everyone is being shuffled off the court here as there's a possible uh, mobbing that was going to happen there, but thankfully, after the end of the game, hope there was no technical foul that could ruin this experience. What a game, Tim. What a game. I mean, seriously, how much better have they come out of this one man looking? Well, not only was it just a great game, the Golden Knights needed that win. Snaps a four-game losing streak. To get the season sweep against a good Texas Southern team. They are really good. And now in sole possession of second place by yourself with a big matchup coming against first place Grambling this Saturday night in Grambling, Louisiana. So a catch much, up the game there. Yeah. much, much needed win for UAPB. Uh, just like the first time these two teams met, came down to the final play, final shot. And the Golden Lions were able to win both of those. They've had their hearts broken a couple of times this year, and they've also been the heartbreaker a couple of times as well, but a much needed big time win. Well, I mean, honestly, you cannot ask for a better game than that as we're going to start signing off. First of all, we're going to try to get our, cute, our crew going as there are some yeah, angry faces next to, next to us right now. That's the head coach. Texas Southern, not very happy. Yeah. All right, right. let's see. Uh, I guess we'll just go with the same crew we had earlier. Four, all right. Frederick Price, Tristan Hall, and Gabe McDonald on the camera. The main man, Randy Kelly, the director, back at the studio. Strong. It's Tony Seville. Tony Seville, excuse me. <laughs> Being You're good. the producer back there for Tim Stubbs, I'm Tyrese Boone. We'll see you the next time around. Go Lions, baby. Go Lions. Wow.